Hello everybody, Kimosabi here, coming at you with another video. This one's off of Global Research CA webpage. I read it by Julian Rose, published on March 27th to 2020, with the topic of Manufactured Pandemic, Testing People for Any Strain of a Coronavirus, Not Specifically for COVID-19. The following is from a medical form. The writer, who is a widely respected professional scientist in the U.S., prefers to stay anonymous because presenting any narrative different than the official one can cause you a lot of stress in the toxic environment caused by the scam which surrounds COVID-19 these days. Julian Rose. I work in the health care field. Here is, here's the problem. We are testing people for any strain of a coronavirus, not specifically for COVID-19. There are no reliable tests for a specific COVID-19 virus. There are no reliable agencies or media outlets for reporting numbers of actual COVID-19 virus cases. This needs to be addressed first and foremost. Every action and reaction to COVID-19 is based on totally flawed data, and we simply cannot make accurate assessments. This is why you're why you're hearing that most people with COVID-19 are showing nothing more than cold slash flu-like symptoms. That's because most corona strains are nothing more than cold slash flu-like symptoms. The few actual novel coronavirus cases do have some worse respiratory responses, but still have a very promising recovery rate, especially for those without prior illnesses. The gold standard in testing for COVID-19 is laboratory isolated purified coronavirus particles free from any contaminants and particles that look like viruses but are not that have been proven to be the cause of the syndrome known as COVID-19 and obtained by using proper viral isolation methods and controls not the PCR that is currently being used or serology slash antibody tests which do not detect viruses as such PCR basically takes a sample of your cells and amplifies any DNA to look for viral sequences, i.e. bits of non-human DNA that seem to match parts of a known viral genome. The problem is the test is known not to work. It uses amplification, which means taking a very, very teeny amount of DNA and growing it exponentially until it can be analyzed. Obviously, any minute contaminants in the sample will also be amplified, leading to potentially gross errors of discovery. Additionally, it's only looking for particle viral sequences, not whole genomes. So identifying a single pathogen is next to impossible even if you ignore the other issues. The Mickey Mouse test kits being sent out to hospitals at best tell analysts you have some viral DNA in your cells, which most of us do most of the time. It may tell you the viral sequence is related to a specific type of virus, say the huge family of coronavirus, but that's all. The idea these kits can isolate a specific virus like COVID-19 is nonsense. And that's not even getting into the other issue, viral load. If you remember the PCR works by amplifying minute amounts of DNA, it therefore is useless at telling you how much virus you may have. And that's the only question that really matters when it comes to diagnosing illness. Everyone will have a few viruses kicking around in their system at any time, and most will not cause illness because their quantities are too small. For a virus to sicken you, you need a lot of it, a massive amount of it, but PCR does not test viral load and therefore can't determine if an osteogenesis is present in significant quantities to sicken you. If you feel sick and get a PCR test, any random virus DNA might be identified, even if they aren't at all involved in your sickness, which leads to false diagnosis. And coronavirus are incredibly common. A large percentage of the world human population will have COVID DNA in or COVID DNA in them in small quantities, even if they're perfectly well or sick with some other pathogen. Do you see where this is going yet? If you want to create a totally false panic about a totally false panic, pick a coronavirus. There are incredibly common, and there's tons of them, a very high percentage of people who become sick by other means, flu, bacterial pneumonia, anything, will have a positive PCR test for COVID. Even if you're doing them properly and really no contamination simply because COVIDs are so common, there are hundreds of thousands of flu and pneumonia victims in hospitals throughout the world at any one time. All you need to do is select the sickest of these in a single location, say Wuhan, administer PCR tests 
tested them and claim anyone showing viral sequences similar to coronavirus, which will inevitably be quite a few, is suffering from a new disease. Since you already selected the sickness flu cases, a, fa a fairly high proportion of your sample will go on to die, you can then say the new virus has a CFR higher than the flu and use this to infuse more concern and do more tests, which will of course produce more cases, which expands the testing, which produces yet more cases, and so on and so on. Before long, you have your pandemic, and all you have done is use a sample test kit trick to convert the worst flu and pneumonia cases into something n new that doesn't actually exist. Now just run the same scam in other countries making sure to keep the fear message running high so that people will feel panicky and less able to think critically. Your only problem is going to be that due to the fact that there is no actual new deadly pathogen but just regular sick people, you are mislabeling your case numbers and especially your deaths are going to be way too low for a real new deadly virus pandemic. But you can stop people pointing this out in several ways. One, you can claim that this is just the beginning and more deaths are imminent. Use this as an excuse to quarantine people and then claim the quarantine prevented the expected millions of dead. Two, you can tell people that minimizing the dangers is irresponsible and bully them into not talking about numbers. Three, you can talk crap about made up numbers hoping to blind people with pseudoscience. And four, you can start testing well people who of course will also likely have shreds of a coronavirus DNA in them and thus inflate your case figures with asymptomatic carriers you will of course have to spin that to sound deadly even though any virologist knows the more symptom less cases you have the less deadly is your pathogen take these four simple steps and you can have your own entirely manufactured pandemic up and running in weeks they cannot confirm something for which there is no accurate test hope you enjoyed the write up to everybody It'd be awesome if you hit the like button great if you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one everybody thanks a lot bye